back to Dave Does Outdoors. Normally with my sidekick Audrey but she's not with me on this trip. I'm not sure what happened with the filming but right at the beginning I'm in the car and normally I do a wee introduction so today's film is really, it's an overnight camp up a hill. We're meeting, there's going to be a big walk that, that, that takes place the day after my camp to look for my friend Ross who's still missing up in the the lower Cairn Gorms um, since January so we're, his family have pulled together a, a big sort of search party so so I thought I'd just do a little introduction just now um, and then just get straight into into the video there's a you'll see this little clip in a second of this red squirrel and you will not believe it so there's a wee bit of good stuff and then a little bit of filming on the on the search so hope you enjoy the, the the video so sit back relax i think it's about a half hour maybe 33 minutes like 35 at the most so thank you again for for tuning in smash that subscribe button if you've not already and uh, thanks for taking your time to enjoy some of my experience So I'm not too sure how many people are going to turn up tomorrow. I'm hoping for a really nice big group. We'll get lots of ground covered, same on the Sunday. Um, so, but anyway. So tonight, yeah, I'll do a bit of filming tonight. Um, we've got the, the new tent. I'm determined to get a flat pitch for that. It's forecast to be rain tonight as well. So... And I'm going to cook a nice bit of Italian beef uh, with some rice on the gas stove. So um, it'll be weird going to sleep tonight without the little one by my side. Um, a lot of the, the search tomorrow is going to be way, way off path. And Audrey, bless her, she's too small. Um, I'll end up carrying her for hours because the heather will be full, the bracken's full. Um, so. She's just too small. Um, anything off path, she just can't really manage at this time of year. So, and also there's lots of ticks. So I couldn't be bothered. So it's easier for her, easier for me. And I don't know if there's going to be other big dogs and stuff going, coming up as well. Some Alsatians and other search type dogs might be there. So, um, so anyway, I'll crack on. I'll get you back once we're probably on foot going up the path um, thanks again for tuning in please subscribe if you've not and uh, give it a wee thumbs up if you can it's much appreciated uh, if you're new to the channel I'll tell you a little bit about the channel once we get moving so I'll bring you back in a wee while thanks again Right, just parked the car, kind of half abandoned, quite a lot of flies already and that's the kind of hill behind there, that's where we're, we're going up tomorrow, we'll fly. Um, I've got a longer sleeve, I might, so we're just going to scut round and try and get up, up this hill a little bit behind in this wood um, and we'll get a good view across the little loch which is Loch Mareg and then we'll get a, a view up onto this hill and we'll just so we're quite close the car park's just down here you can see the the little van that's parked there so it's not too far to go um, I had thought about maybe just pitching up at that little summit up there 
but I think we're going to scut around these woods a little bit and just see where we go. I'll tell you what I've decided to do. No fire, cook with gas, pitch the tent up here and uh, just cook with gas. There's no smoke, there's no stress. Keep it simple tonight, that's the name of the game. Quite a few flies. I'm not sure if it's going to get windier or not. I hope it is, but I don't think so. have a little bit of sunlight trying to break through here as well which is nice this would be a really good winter spot up here because you've got a bit of shelter from this wall and you've got a bit of shelter from this wood a bit exposed over this way because you'll get some serious weather but uh, a few midges I'm getting a wee bit bitten and I'm hopefully not going to get too to rash some bigger flies which we can hand on. I'm going to put on a I didn't really bring any sort of like little layers, I'm just going to put on my waterproof jacket because it's, it's pretty lightweight. Um, please with that, pretty flat little pitch. And just get the gas fire on, get the gas cooker on. Got plenty of gas and it'll just save save any hassle, smoke, smell and all the rest of it so Spot. Just pop my little mozzie net on because there's quite a little lot of little flying ones. So rather than getting sort of bitten and itchy, um, I'm not usually too bad. I don't get too much of a reaction, but it's bad enough. It's more annoying. So um, I've just kind of put a wee layer on, um, which isn't particularly warm. It's just that wee waterproof shower thing, and stuck this on. I don't have any. Um, normally you'd have a kind of wee skip cap to keep it off your face, a bit like that, so. Um, but with the hood up, that'll do. And I can just cook and then I'll worry about eating. I think it'll be fine kind of eating. Um, I've also got a little pair of gloves as well, so you can, just in case, I mean, there's no wind tonight, like zero wind. Normally if there's a bit of a breeze, you're fine, but tonight it's going to be a bit of a kind of midgy paradise, so. A little bit of beef. We're having a tomato Italian tomato basil rice. Um, with some tomatoes. Avocado to start with. Nice cool beer. Okay, not sure if I remember that. Red. Onion.
hot sauce. Mm. Cheers, everyone. Oh, man. It really filled me up last time I had this. Run out of gas, so luckily we have a spare. I knew we would run out of gas, so and I've been dying to get this little gas cylinder on. I don't know if you saw that, I don't know if I was filming there. <laughs> that was a red squirrel. It just came it came bounding along here and it went up into the trees. <laughs> oh, oh man, that's that is that is such an omen. That's that's a Ross right there. That is a Ross right there. A red squirrel running across the fence right in front of me. I cannot, I cannot believe that. He will, that squirrel will not see people. Let's not waste the gas. I got a fright there, I, d I didn't know what that was. Let's see if that's caught in the camera. I'm telling you, that is like, <laughs> oh, and you keep you running along here and then straight up the trees. Business, business. If you can see that rain, I don't know if it's coming right across this way or not, it might be everything in the tent in a minute or two. You can feel a couple of these spots. But you can see that, that red squirrel, it's obviously in these woods and it must come along the fence and then it joins onto this wood. That was amazing. Oh that was a beauty. I mean I see reds, they're not they're not as rare as you think but little pockets of woodland this elevated it just shows you this is where the red squirrels are, are living so when you're cooking with the with the one hob it's like gonna off on cook the rice let it soak cook the meat warm it all up put it all together once it's hot Italian beef. I'm going to walk about actually neat this because the 
the little midges just kind of having a field day tonight. It's like a sort of rice stew. That was really, really nice. The weather's turning a little breeze. It's great, especially up here. We might get a wee bit of weather tonight in the tent, which is good. A bit of wind. It's not forecast anything major, but this is the great thing about Scotland as well. Although there's like risks, it's unpredictable, you're trying to kind of read the weather, all of a sudden that's feeling chilly. You know, so a minute ago I was sweating with no wind at all, all of a sudden. So, nice. That's better, keeps the little midges away. Just like, just illuminating the top of that hill there. I'm going to get a good look at the map tonight as well. So it's good the last time I was up the clouds were so low. This was this would have been swamped in cloud. But I'm loving the look of that little wood right up here. Right in the top of that hill. That would be fun to camp up there and feel more relaxed here than I did down at the beach that night because you're proper, proper remote. Early night tonight, I'm going to have a coffee now. I've got my book. Early night tonight, try and get some sleep. I need to get up about six to get down to the car park just before eight sort of thing. So... difference a nice hot meal makes business I'm still buzzing about that red squirrel see if that came out in this film it, just in case it didn't it I was sitting down here making making dinner and it came running along here landed on the fence made a noise ran along here along there up into this tree Big, proper adult red squirrel. That's a sign. That is that is a sign. That is that just does not happen. That does not happen. That's a wee It's nice to be close. I mean, that's proper spiritual, like. I still kind of get over the fact that. Ross is away, you know, he comes up here, I don't know if he tried to do this one. <sighs> 16th of January, it was like, by all accounts, serious Arctic. That's a serious hill. I don't know if that's if that was the the third one he'd planned or the ones round here, but that's a serious, serious mountain. But I mean Ross had climbed them all. He'd climbed them all at least once. Every Munro 
you've done them all. And then, as I said in my other video, loads of rope work, orienteering, compass, map. <laughs> sun coming through the clouds, a rainbow, a red squirrel running six feet away from you. <sighs> I feel my old friend. up there looking down. We're in. We're settled. I'm telling you it's a lot easier about the dog. <laughs> Bless her but normally I'm lugging her about. I'm trying to get her bed in here. She's, you know, trying to get her to use the toilet at night um, so I've, I've missed her don't don't get me wrong if you're watching this Audrey don't take it personally um, but yeah let's see how we get to sleep I do like having her at night because she's my kind of extra set of ears so I think there'll be a bit of deer there'll be a bit of kind of wildlife kicking about up here so right I'm gonna gonna get into bed I'm gonna do some reading and just chill that's been a pretty nice night. You're never, I'm never that, I'm never that relaxed when I don't know where I'm going to camp. Once you've got your spot and you've had your tea, that's it. Right guys, I'm going to do some reading of my Kindle. I'm reading a good book about the Second World War. I think it's fictional, but um, really good. Enjoying it. Um, I'm going to do a bit of reading. It's still light. It's about nine. Um, I've got my socks hanging up here. They got a little bit damp walking through the long grass. Um, so I'm just drying them out there for tomorrow. And i uh, got quite sort of agitated earlier on by the, all those little tiny little midgy things. So it's nice to be in the tent. There's none in here. And as I said, this midgy net in this tent's superb. So. Listen, probably uneventful light. I'm not sure how much filming I'm going to do tomorrow. I think there'll be quite a lot of people coming um, for the kind of search. So, And I know some of Ross's family are going to be here. I think his daughter and stuff. So I think it's going to be quite emotional. So I might do a wee bit of filming just to kind of round things off. Otherwise I might just kind of finish things off when I get home. I'll just see how we get on. It's been a nice night though. Um somewhere slightly different without the dog as well so yeah it would have been better with a bit of a breeze to keep all the way all the kind of beasties but it's not been too bad it's been manageable so anyway i'm going to do a bit of reading get some sleep and we'll pick up in the morning so night night morning folks that's about six back at six i've got a quick coffee i'm going to make, make a coffee i've got a little um flask for later on today as well good not a bad really peaceful night last night that's probably one of my most peaceful quiet settled flat pitches little bit of air movement a couple of deer at, at times nothing too too drastic so 
quick coffees. I'm going to have some porridge, warm some milk up. And um, it actually got quite cold. I had to zip up my sleeping bag fully. Um, I'm going to put a little layer on just now. I'm feeling a bit chilly. So, a good night last night. Nice food. Nice and settled. Nice to, um, nice to be up here. So quite a, quite a sort of busy one to be getting cracking. So crack on. <laughs> Apologies for the socks, by the way, that seems to be pretty good last night, just a bit of air. Um, soya milk and this little cool thing, so I'm going to just warm it and then I'm just going to pour some oats into my cup and have a bowl of porridge. Just thinking it's going to be quite a long, arduous day, so an old man like me, I've got to kind of keep the batteries fueled. <laughs> Get a nice bit, of, nice bit of sunrise coming up. This looks good. I'm probably going to get my little midget net on again. Um, rucksack's pretty full, making quite good time. I need to crack on. Though. I don't want to be late for this kind of meeting at eight o'clock in the car park. So I've got a bit of a trek through this wood, through the next wood, over a couple of fences, which are like. A bit of a nightmare, so. That was a herd of about 20 stags, full horns. Right, made good time. That was a good call coming up the night before. The car park looks quite empty, so I'm not sure how many folk are going to make it up. It's only about only 20 to 8, so we made good time down that hill. I'm going to get parked up and get my day bag organised. So, so far, clouds are quite high, a couple of little spots, a bit of visibility, which is great. There's a wee group here. Um, we're having tea and coffee and waiting for a couple of other people to get organised and get a bit of a plan but a couple of, couple of guys from the military which is great so they've got a bit of a kind of plan already hatched so just getting some stuff organised don't think I'm going to do much filming today so but I'll sign out later on we'll see how the day goes so far it's dry which is cool so nice group of guys so far so I'm looking forward to talking about Ross but also 
having a serious surge. So. So we're creating a bit of a kind of line up to the round these kind of gall kind of gullies here. Big, really nice group of guys. Total ball burster. We've done, we've done a line right along this side and we're going to sweep in round that side coming down this way. We've done well, really well. Right folks, we're going to finish the video there, as you can see the weather this afternoon has turned, um, we got soaked through, it's about 4 o'clock now, I'm driving down the road, so I won't speak long, thanks for joining me, no sign of Ross, needless to say, I'm not sure if the other search party had any more success, we split into two groups of about six, um, which was really good, really good group of guys. Um, a lot of them just hearing, hearing about this on Facebook and living local or wanting to spend you know, a day, weekend up the hills. Um, so, big shout out and thanks to all of them for making the effort. We went right up, we went up two big gullies and a, in a, a line formation right along. As you can see, I took a little bit of footage but not much. So. Um, and I met some of my friend Ross's family, which was really nice as well. So a difficult, a difficult day. Nice, nice camp last night. Um, that all went well. Um, and nice to spend the day in the hill, especially up there, um, in the part of the country that Ross loved so much. So thanks again for tuning in. I'm going to sign out there. So take care. See you soon in the next adventure.